Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back doing a best of three Brothers War draft. All right, let's look at the rares and uncommons here first. We've got Tokazia, Tokazia's Welcome. Great card. Haven't gotten, I think I drafted it once and I didn't play it because I didn't end up in white, but this card is very strong. Uh, yeah, you get to just draw too. You don't even have to pay or anything. You only get it once a turn, but whatever, extra card a turn for playing creatures, which you want to do anyway. They have to be mana value three or less, but... White has a lot of, I mean, you're going to be in soldier colors, so you're going to want cheap soldiers anyway. Great card. Uh, Excavation, I haven't played with, haven't played against it, I don't think either. I don't think it's particularly good. It's too much mana to ramp more. Iron Claw Crusher is a great card. Prototype is a fantastic mechanic. Avenger is very good too. So, two good uncommons. Ornithopter, I'm not really sure where this is at its best. Survivor of Corliss is deceptively good. The one power, the first strike, is really good in this format. I like Scatteray, Rock Hunter. Sorry, ran out of time. Ooh, Queen Kayla. Well, I haven't gotten to play with Kayla before, but it's a very strong card. Choose artifacts or creature cards. Mana value 1, 2, and 3. And you get them from the graveyard to the battlefield, as well as replacing them with draw cards. Very good. Plus, it's like instant target, too, so really good card. Um, I wonder what someone took in here, because they didn't take Queen Kayla, and they didn't take one of the uncommons. So Gnawing Vermin, totally fine card. Actually good in this format, because I think this format's pretty aggressive, so having a one drop that trades with an X2 or kills two X1s is really good. And Milling is relevant in a format with Unearth. Thran Vigil I don't like very much. I've seen it played once, not very impressed with it. Pretty tough build around. Heavyweight Demolisher is excellent. Seven mana. Eight power menace. You can unearth it too. You do have to pay. It's got the downside with the paying, but whatever. Deadly repost is removal, but I don't love it. I like disfigure. I like scatter ray. I like the chain dancer. This card is good. Guy's gift is good. Shoot down's good. A lot of a lot of playable stuff in there, but we'll we'll take Queen Kayla for now. Okay, so now we'll look at the uncommons, and none of them are what we're interested in. The only one that's on color with our first two picks is arms race, but this is more of like a constructed card. I would say so. Not, and it's only artifacts, not worth it. Rock Hunter, playable two drop. It's also a soldier. Uh, it also can be cheated out with Queen Kayla. Strongest card in the pack. Um, might be the Mutt, actually. Not a soldier, but getting a rummage, getting an unearth is, is quite good. This having reach is relevant too. Straight soldier colors would be more of the white blue. But I think the upside of Mutt, I'm going to give slight edge to Mutt over Rock Hunter. It also doesn't commit us to red, although playing this without unearthing, probably worse. But I think I like the Mutt more. Reach is relevant, but this being able to attack, trade with something, come back, rummage twice, that's good value. So we'll take that. We even get a little bark. Goblin Charbelcher, you know, I haven't played with this yet. I think this card is actually playable and limited. Equal to the number of non-land cards revealed this way to any target. And if the revealed land card is a mountain, it deals double that damage. So if you reveal like three cards and then a mountain, it's six damage. Like this, this card actually can kill people. So I think it's okay. Let's look at the other cards though. Other options. Thopter is good. And it's something you can cheat out with uh, Queen Kayla, which is nice. Um, I almost want to try the Char Belcher, but... Because at first I, I didn't think it was, at first I was just dismissing it because it's, you know, historically a constructed card. But if you're in red, I think this card's actually good. If you reveal three cards, I, let's just try it. We'll see if it's as terrible as other people seem to, I, I seem to always get past it. So people certainly aren't high on it, but unless I'm really reading it wrong, I think it's perfectly fine as a way to just deal some extra damage for three mana. You don't even lose the rest of the card, so it's not like exiling or anything. We'll give it a try. So next we can take Mitra, another card we can cheat out with Queen Kayla. It also rummages. It's a good card. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern is good because it replaces itself. It's an artifact, so artifact into the battlefield value is good. Uh, Race to the Ground is playable. Boulder Branch Golem is good. 
basically any prototype you really can't go wrong. And there's a couple, the clear cutter in green, I'm not blown away by, but I think this is an easy Mishra. Good card. Okay, strongest card here is probably Battery Bearer. Uh, but seeing as we're pretty far away from that, I'm looking at Chain Dancer or Deadly Repost, probably. Chain Dancer doesn't give us any value from Welcome, but the double strike on this really can't be overstated. This is good. Being a 2 4 with double strike is very good, actually. Uh, Aeronaut's Wings, I usually like to have one, but I think I'd prefer to have the Chain Dancer. And Deadly Repost. Less good if we're trying to beat down. I'm not sure if we're the beat down deck yet. We might be a value deck. This this card's fine, and it's good against aggro. I think I'm still gonna take the chain dancer. Okay, so we can take infantry now. The nice thing about infantry is it can trade and you get another body out of it. Or we could take mine worker. We have Urza, which is a good card. Uh, I don't really like splitting the power stone. It's too weird. Um, maybe I like infantry more than mine worker, but I want to make sure I have enough two drops as well. And who knows, maybe we'll assembly assembly worker. Usually I don't care about that, but the fact that this gains life and can trade and is a two drop, you know, infantry and mine worker are both expendable. Mine worker being an artifact and a two drop, I think is important. All right. So here, I probably take Lauren's Escape. Uh, Jalem Tome is a little bit too clunky for my taste. You do get a loot for two each turn, but it's just costly enough where I don't like it. Lauren's Escape is good. I've been burned by this card quite a few times. The thing is, I feel like I've drafted it a few times and ended up cutting it. Um, so it looks like the draw multiple cards a turn archetype is open since there's a Tome, an Adept, and a Stalker in here. But I think I'm happy enough with my welcome and my queen kayla to continue down a white red path for now survivor of Corlys, uh corliss rather good wheel i'm gonna take the avenger though because this card is excellent yes it's a little expensive but all of the abilities on it are very good so as much as i actually do want this survivor we'll take the avenger all right demolisher great pickup here i'm gonna take it expensive taking it over repost taking it over chain dancer but um, just an excellent finisher, despite being expensive. So we even wield Rock Hunter, pick 11, great. Uh, totally playable card. Um, nothing else here we really want. Scrapsmith, very good. Um, can be free card draw or a three mana three two. Free card draw is better than the three mana three two, but it can also randomly like mill a unearth card and get you another creature. So it can actually equate to even more, more value. And it's something you can cheat out with Queen Kayla. So relevant. Race the ground, at least a good sideboard card. I haven't really, I don't really like the Drake all that much. It's pretty clunky for five mana. It does have haste, I guess, but I think race the ground is main deckable, but I'm not gonna take it. All right, second to last pick, Deadly Repost. Totally playable card. So last pick, Adept. I mean, that archetype is wide open, like I said, but we're not doing it. This this card is good. Even when you're not playing black, that effect is good. Revoker is like a pithing needle on a two mana two one. Not bad. Could take the Cliff Stomper. If we take Cliff Stomper, we could actually ditch out of white and go straight red and Charbelcher gets better. Cliff Stomper is very good. I think we can wheel Cliff Stomper though. So I guess really I'm looking at like Warlord's Elite, Disenchant, or the Crown. You know, the Crown upside is pretty good. Like I said, even if you're paying two mana, making something stronger, putting on like a Chain Dancer, whatever. And then when it dies, you draw. So even defensively, it's good. It's just, it's it's a good card. I like it. I think it's worth it. So we'll take it. Over Disenchant, Elite, Cliff Stomper. All that. Well, mass production spits out a bunch of soldiers, um, which is not bad. Self-assembler is probably worth it because we already have the mine worker. So as long as you have one target to find, this card is good. Survivor, I really do one. I'm hoping we can wheel it. But we'll take the assembler. I like, I've like. i found this card to be good. And like I said, if you're playing a 5-mana 4-4 four four and digging up a 2-mana two 2-1, two 
with upside, it's it's good. All the card advantage you can get is good. So we're hoping a wheel survivor, that would be ideal. Because survivor of Corliss is good. Blocking stuff like Rock Hunter, Scrap Work Mutt, Mine Worker, it really just locks down two ones, which the set seems to just have a boatload of. Really? Perennial Behemoth. Well, I haven't played with this yet, but I don't think... If, if you get an Evolving Wilds, it's pretty good, I guess. Um, I may... Hey, I probably just want Foundry Inspector. Thopter Architect is always an interesting card, but I've never played with it. I'm not sure if it's actually good or not. Foundry Inspector is very good, though. Makes all your artifacts cheaper, which we already want. And you don't have to, like, tap it for mana like you do with Tower Worker. Although Tower Worker can ramp into other things. And it's another thing to find off the self-assembler. But we might wheel it. And Stone Retrieval Unit would be fine too. I actually like that card. But we'll take the Inspector. Alright, options here. Another Demolisher. We have Bitter Reunion and Unleash Shell. Pretty tempted to just take another Demolisher. We're starting to get on the clunky side. But it's also something we can pitch with Queen Kayla. And unearth later and not feel bad about it. Um, Bitter Union I've seen a lot of. This card's good for the sack attack deck. I'm just going to take the Demolisher. Emergency Weld is good in black. Hostile Negotiations is, is actually kind of dangerous because losing three life. Not super easy to do in this format. Unleash Shell is playable, but I, I really like the Demolisher, even if it is expensive. I like Automaton too, but I'm still thinking we're on the hunt for more two-drop creatures, so I'll probably just take Rock Hunter. Like I said, I do like the Automaton. We have no shortage of expensive stuff in this deck, though, so... Granted, you can cast that as a three-drop, but we're kind of doing okay on three-drops right now, too, so let's just get the Rock Hunter. So, can take the Unleashed Shell now. Have another chance to get Mine Worker. Our removal is pretty light, I guess. We have a Deadly Repost... We have a Char Belcher, which I think you have to choose. Do you choose the target first? I think you probably do. To any target, yeah. Um, Mine Worker versus Unleash Shell. I'm going to take another Mine Worker because we have the Self Assembler, so we can always find a. That way, if we already draw the Mine Worker, we can find another one. We'll see. It might not be worth it. So, defense grid. So, this, I guess, technically would be an okay sideboard card, but it's not good enough. So, final meditation's expensive and not good enough either, but Blitz Automaton, on the other hand, is pretty good. So, I guess we could take mass production now. We're borderline mono red for Char Belcher, but, I mean, Queen Kayla... And Tokazi is welcome. Like, our strongest cards are in white, so that makes it a little difficult. We'll take on mass production, because I already have a race to the ground. Excavation is good if you have a lot of enter the battlefield effects. We have a Mutt. I guess it's good with welcome. You can draw more cards, but that's yeah, probably not worth it. Well, we did get the Cliff Stomper back. They're really tempting me to go mono red with Char Belcher and try it. Not giving up much for it. A Revoker. Revoker is actually fine, but I'll, I'll take the Cliff Stomper. All right. Well, we got Survivor back in white, so might not be happening. Cliff Stomper is my hedge in case we want to be mono white. So I could take the Conscripted Infantry here. Forge Chanter with Prowess is not bad, but we're not really a Prowess deck. So, I, you know, I will take the Architect. Just in case we want it. We do have a lot of artifacts, so... Bitter Reunion, you know, I've seen it played a lot. Might play it. Don't need any of this. We'll take the Dig Site. Take another one. I don't think we play them. Unless... No, even if we end up Mono Red, you don't want to do it. Because we've got the... Because uh, we've got the Char Belcher. Alright, Scrap Trawler. This is a good card. Yeah. This is really good. This, so... 3 mana 3... We've got all the 3 mana 3 2 goodies but this card is awesome because things die and then you get back like demolisher dies get back a avenger something crazy like that potentially other good cards in here uh elite is very good 
I like Juggernaut. Retrieval unit would be slam playable in here. Go for the throat in black. But no, we're going to take Scrap Trawler. Still have, still holding out hope that we somehow can build a mono red deck. Well, I guess here we take the Forge. Starting to be less and less likely, I guess, that we would do mono red just because we have some pretty important white cards. So probably getting off the Cliff Stomper plan. Not that big of a deal, but it's just the way it is. All right, we'll take the Forge. Forge, on the other hand, is pretty good. Pyrrhic Blast, I actually like. Could take another Survivor of Corliss, or we could take the Evolving Wilds. Because um, we already have a deck, but I do like Pyrrhic Blast, and we have two Demolishers, so that can just win the game. Attack for eight, they take eight, throw eight more damage at them. It's good with the Automaton. It's good in response to removal. I think we have enough cheap stuff where I'm okay passing the Survivor. We might even get the Survivor back. We did the first time. I'm going to take Pyrrhic Blast. I, I just really like this card. It's also good against like Prison Sentence and the uh, Weak Subjugation card. All right. You know, I've gotten blown up enough by Paratrooper where I've come to definitely respect this card. So let's just take it. I've really gotten beat up by Paratrooper. It's a good card. Not giving up much for it. Quiet as Spike, you know, it's it's too clunky. I'd rather have the crown, so let's stick to just that. That gives us a flyer too, which is nice. So Strongbull in this deck looks really good to me. We could take the Engineer, which actually looks pretty good too with all these artifacts. Um, I think I think we have enough two drop creatures though, and Strongbull just being able to sack artifacts to win is is kind of nice. Rager is actually fine in here too, even if you can't unearth it. Yeah, I'm going to take Strongbow. This, this, this card is strong. It's aptly named. So, could take the Cavalry. I think we actually have a good five soldier. So, Cavalry's not bad, but I guess we only have one five drop. Hmm. We are looking a little expensive. We have a lot of creatures. I could see maybe doing the Unleashed Shell finally as some removal, just because we're removal light and we have some creatures we can cut. All right, I'll take it now. Just in case we need more removal. So now I guess I'll take another repost in case we need more removal. I doubt we're going to play both of them. This card's actually kind of cool. So you can do a timely... You can do a timely soul partition to exile something, but to be honest, I'm either looking at Ani Letter a second Pyrrhic Blast. I'm going to take a second Blast because I have enough creatures already. Warlord's Elite on the wheel, really, really phenomenal. Or we could take the unit, but no, Elite, the Elite's just better. Plus, it's one you can cheat out with Queen Kayla. That's really good. All right, we'll take Bitter Reunion. Could take the Power Blade, but we don't need it. Got the survivor back. It's really nice. I'm going to take it. Yet another card we can get back with Queen Kayla. So that's nice. I mean, it's also just fine, uh, you know, discard fodder. You can exile from your graveyard and you're getting to draw another card. So good value there. Even good with Bitter Reunion. Good with the crown. Three power first strike. So we're in a good spot. We, you know, cuts need to be made. Am I actually doing the Char Belcher in non mono red? Oh. So you can actually miss on Char Belcher. I guess that's one of the downsides. Because if your top land is a card, you deal zero damage. Wow, listen to that crazy sound effect when you draft one. Jeez. You know, we probably have enough good stuff where I probably won't do the Char Belcher. If I did Mono Red, I would do Char Belcher.
So we'll get rid of Charbelter. I don't think we're doing the Chain Dancers either. Just because we've got enough. Well, at least we're not doing three of them. So why don't we cut a couple for now. Uh, Tomaton's really like a three drop, so I'm kind of okay with that. And remember, Welcome has to do with mana value, so looking good on that front. We have a lot of cuts to make, huh? So we have Foundry Inspector, which makes this cheaper, but we didn't really get too much else for ramp. But we can always rummage them away with Queen Kayla or Mishra. And with Mishra, you know, discard a Demolisher and you can ramp towards another one or an Avenger or an Assembler or whatever. Let's get off the Architect and I think the Chain Dancer. Where are we at in creatures now? 20. Still can cut five more creatures. That's a good spot to be. So I might actually cut Automaton because we don't get to draw off of the Welcome. Even though it does have Prototype, which is very good. And we can, you know, use these to... It's actually kind of cool. Because the mana value of this is actually 7. And Prototype lets you cast it with a different mana cost. But I think the mana cost remains 7. Maybe it doesn't. If it's the 3-2, maybe it actually changes the mana cost too. I guess that would make sense. But let's just cut it. I don't think we need two Bitter Unions. I kind of doubt we'll need the Deadly Repost. They're totally fine. They're fine against aggro. But... We still can cut four creatures kind of comfortably. May not have to, though. Thinking we might cut the Bitter Reunion. I don't hate it, but I don't love it enough to keep it in. Maybe we'll cut one repost. Let's look at our weakest creatures. Hmm. Well, yeah, like we could cut three creatures and call it a deck. So how many artifacts do we have? We have 10. Scrapsmith's looking good then. Hmm. Can cut a mine worker. Leaves us less targets to find with self-assembler. I mean, I could cut Self-Assembler into Mine Workers as well. But, you know, you want as many cheap creatures as you can, so Queen Kayla does good things. Even cheap artifacts are good with Queen Kayla, because it's not just artifact creatures. You can get back a crown with it, too. It's, it's very good. Yeah. So, I guess we'll at least cut one Pyrrhic Blast. The baiting may be cutting the escape. We have some good cards we want to protect, but casting a Demolisher and then being able to protect it is, I feel like, going to be unreliable. Hmm. Maybe we'll cut the Lauren's Escape. We're removal light enough where I really don't want to cut another Deadly Repost, but like I said, Survivor is good against aggro decks. One power, first strike does surprisingly a lot. It also lets us power out an elite, which is nice. Could cut two drop. I don't want to cut any more non-creature cards. So I think we should cut a creature because our removal is what? A repost, a Pyrrhic Blast, and Unleash Shell. And that's it. It's not much. So Rock Hunter versus Mine Worker. Probably the Rock Hunter, I guess, even though it's got reach. Just because Mine Worker, if we already draw that plus an Assembler, we can find another one. So it gives us, and it gets cheaper with Inspector, and it, it's something we can get back when a Trawler dies. So yeah, that's worth it. All right, well, I don't think it's a bad deck. Like dead even on colors in the deck too. No, I don't think it's bad. 
All right, we'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. All right, round one, we'll play first. It's a keep. Need some non-land card draws. But as of now, we at least get a cheap mine worker. So this is a good reason to run two mine workers. Now, at least if we draw a self-assembler, we can find another one. An opponent mulligan, that's good too. That's helpful. Mm. So Bobble gets to look at the top guard of our library. And then they get to draw a card on our turn. Not bad. Free card draw. Ooh, that was a good draw. Ooh, elite. Well, we can't cast the elite yet, so we'll do Mishra and get him for four here. Then we can cast elite next turn by tapping Mishra. Um, is that, in fact, better than getting in for four? I think so. I think we'll just get in for two and then cast elite. Answer's a good one. So we're actually pretty close to uh, pretty close to Demolisher. Two lands away. So we have to remember to use the Mine Worker to gain the life here. Oh, I can use Mishra too, huh? That's true. Um, I mean, I guess I can discard this in response and draw. Mm. I guess technically I need that land to cast Demolisher on time and everything, but that's not a big deal. I can discard Survivor too. So we have Strong Bull. Why don't we discard the Survivor because it's not doing too much here. Technically we need another land, so. All right, so we can play the land, play the Strong Bull. And then at the end of their turn, we can use Mine Worker and Exile Survivor. Almost want a extra mana just in case, but hmm. bold. So if I double block it, then they can give it double strike. I think, depending on the blocking order, well, either way, I guess I can't kill their thing, so we'll just take it. So we'll gain life. Survivor. So we don't need to land anymore. Unleash Shell is pretty good, actually. Because we can attack with everything at some point. We don't need that land. So I can do the Demolisher, or I can do Unleash Shell. The problem with Unleash Shell is... Hmm. 
They probably blocked the strongbow. Is that what I'm guessing? They technically have machine over matter mana. So which means I want to do the unleash shell before combat damage. I'm going to attack with everything here. I want to see how they block. So we'll do the unleash shell, see if they have the all right, that's, that's fine. I mean, this puts them in a pretty dangerous spot. They're at four life. We got their 6-6 six, six off the board. We still have the Demolisher follow-up. Hmm. Gaining four life's pretty good. Ooh, Pyrrhic Blast. Well... That's pretty good. So if we live now, we can... Hopefully they don't exile the Demolisher. I would have had to wait for another mana in order to be able to sack it to Strongbull, and then I would have needed a boatload of mana in order to unearth plus do Pyrrhic Blast, but this is fine. I think this is the best we're gonna get. They can have the shoot down, that would deal with our Demolisher. Oh, well, we don't die, so I'm all right with it. And they don't appear to have a sack outlet, so that's good, too. Uh, no, that's not true. I wonder if they're going <laughs> to Pyrrhic Blast us. I don't know. I'm just going to gain the life now. I mean, we don't die if they have Pyrrhic Blast, but we're not in great shape. <laughs> Oh. So we'll pay our three. And then just... All right. Cool. So we'll go to game two. They're playing Obstinate Baylot's just a great card. Steel Exemplar's good. Sibling Rivalry doesn't seem to fit super well with the, with what they're doing. Might Zone's good. Kill something and then be able to ramp with it. It doesn't look like they're in Urza colors, so we don't have to worry about the meld aspect. Um, Raise to the Ground. So that deals with Might Zone, which isn't that amazing. It does deal with... Steel Exemplar, but those are the only two we saw. It's probably not worth bringing it in for that. Although Deadly Repost really didn't have any targets this whole game. So maybe maybe we cut the Deadly Repost and we'll do... Uh... Did they show us removal? Yes, it's good against Sibling Rivalry, I guess. It's good against Mishra's Domination. So I can do Lauren's Escape, or I can do the Raise to the Ground. Probably Lauren's Escape. I feel like it's got more practical value. Um, so we'll have to mull this one. Too dangerous to keep. They're mulling as well. This one we do get to keep. And we're going to ditch probably Rock Hunter. Because that way I could trade off a Mine Worker and still get it back with Scrap Trawler when that dies. And once again, we get to go Mine Worker into 
Mishra, which is good. Hmm, that's a good draw. All right, same play. Get in for four. All right, same plan. Do the elite. So we'll get in with the mine worker. Play the elite. All right, looks like they're missing too many land drops to comfortably come back into this game. All right, we'll see you for round two. All right, round two, we'll play first. Yeah, it's the keep. We got both colors. We have removal. We got a two drop. We got everything we need so far. Hmm. That's... The uh, Blast Runner deck is kind of legit, actually. No menace? All right. Take it. No plays. Well, that's good. So we'll get in for two. Play the welcome and then pass. Mm. Sure. Disenchant? That'd be smart. Yeah. I like it. It's a good idea. All right, so now we can do elite. Get our four four out there. Hmm, Vanguard's a great card. All right, so now got some options. I think we'll just do elite. And we'll play survivor. And we'll leave up deadly repost for the vanguard, which is a really strong card. So, all right, we'll repost the paratrooper. And we can trade with the blast runner. Kind of okay with that. Otherwise I have to take, well, let's kill the paratrooper. I mean, you can block the rock hunters. I think I'm actually gonna take the blast runner just because the life gain you get from mine worker is pretty good. Another survivor is a great draw. So we can get in with the elite again. I don't really have a great block for it. And then we can go strong bull plus survivor. And we got some nice first strikers down so we're keeping blast runner and two rock hunters back right now which is really nice yeah the sur just the survivor of Corliss really cannot be overstated how good the value is on that so let's get in with our elite again they're gonna have to start blocking here that and the blast runner 
I mean, you just we'll just take the two for one and be happy about it. Then we'll play Queen Kayla and pass. So at this point, we're ready to pitch the demolisher if we have to. So we'll do Scrapsmith, actually. Oh, no, I guess it makes more sense to... Um, yeah, I guess we'll get a Demolisher back. 3-2, can't attack into the Vanguard anyway because it's got First Strike. So... That's cool. Um, we'll pass. Already halfway through the deck. And we've seen 6 of 17 lands, so I suspect there's a lot of lands coming up. Are they ready to kill Queen Kayla yet, or what? Not a bad idea. Ah, well, Tomaton's good. Are they going to attack with it? Oh, okay. I see. I guess that makes sense. It's got first strike. Can I even block in a way that can kill it? Let's see. I don't think very comfortably, so... We'll take it. I mean, we're still gaining life here, so... We're in pretty good shape. Crown. We can get the crown back. Well, we have to choose between the crown or the mutt. But we need some lands here, so we're going to be pitching everything here. So we'll get the crown back because we can unearth the mutt. And then we'll play the land. And pass. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a problem. That's on the two-turn clock now, so we kind of got to put him away here. Ooh, Cindermon, nice one. So we're dead next turn. They have three blockers. Oh, I should have done a response. That was my bad. My mistake. So, we'll go land. We don't have enough to do the Demolisher. So we have three, six total. We can do Mishra plus Mutt, plus we can sack with Strangle. I feel like we're still short of lethal though, but I suppose we have to go for it. So let's do the Mutt first. Hmm, actually, no, if I did Mishra and I discarded it, 
we still wouldn't have had enough to unearth that. So, all right, so we'll get in with everything here. I don't think we have lethal though, unfortunately. I didn't do the math, but obviously I have to attack here because I don't have any other plays. And I don't think equipping the crown is better. It's probably better to have diversity of target, I imagine. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're going to be one shy, aren't we? Oh, boy. How sad. All right, we'll go to game two here. All right, so we're playing against another aggro deck. Let's bring in our other repost. That should be good here. Did they show us removal? Disenchant. So I guess we can protect with Lauren's escape, but I mean, I can, it's not bad. Uh, do I want to just keep the deck cheap or do I want to keep it? Well, they have enough where we probably want to raise the ground to. The problem is Aeronaut's Wings just coming down just is going to win, I feel like. And they they only showed us two artifacts this whole game. Yeah, raise the ground's not going to be as good as I want it to be. But we definitely struggled there against it. I mean, we straight up lost to it. And we had all the card advantage so maybe I need it that's kind of sad I really don't think it's good enough here we saw two targets and they're an aggro deck that could really come back to punish us I think I might ditch the crown actually crown is something we can get back with Queen Kayla maybe we cut like a demolisher because it's expensive we, did, we didn't even get to the mana being able to play it, and they're super aggressive, so that's that's probably true. Probably need to cut that. Could do the Rock Hunters. They at least trade with the Cinder Maws. That's not bad. So just cut the curve down. We could do that. Could just be straight up more aggro. So then maybe we cut, like... Pyrrhic Blast. And then I'll do Raise to the Ground. And we'll do a Lauren's Escape just for some weird protection. Actually, instead of Lauren's Escape, I'm going to do the Bitter Reunion for some uh, card advantage, I think. So we're going more aggro route, less late game, just because late game was too slow. Yeah, this hand's fine. Technically, I have removal. If I do Bitter Reunion, what would I pitch? Guess I could pitch a mountain, although I don't want to miss on land. Could pitch the... Could pitch the Traveler. Could actually pitch the Unleashed Shell. That... We're so removal light, I don't love that though. Could pitch the Scrapsmith, but that's card advantage. So is Traveler. And these two like set each other up too, which is nice. Maybe it is the only shell. Jeez. It's a tough one. Oh, welcome. It's a welcome site. Harvester, sure. So we'll actually. I'm going to play. Survivor first. To, well, all right, we'll take a three hit. Yeah, the disenchant again. Oh, well, that was a good draw. So, 
now we can do less than or equal. No, it's only lesser. So four mana. Let's do this. Scrapsmith plus the survivor. All right, can't protect it. Yeah, get a mine worker back, play the survivor, and then we'll pass. Hmm. Vanguard is just so excellent. So I think we'll do Inspector plus Mine Worker here. So I may take a hit from Vanguard in order to deadly repost it. We'll see. All right, that's cool. So I'm just gonna kill the... I'm gonna kill the Vanguard, so... We'll go Trowler, because they're going to trade with the Inspector, so. And we don't have top end anymore, so I don't really care. So let's just take full advantage of our cheaper price now. And then we'll get in for two, five, six, eight. They'll trade with the Inspector, and then we'll deadly repost the Vanguard. Or they take it all, huh? I guess I could have sacked bid reunion to give in to give haste, but I tapped out to do both my dudes, so I don't know if that was actually better. Blast zone. So we have two drops, three drops, one drop. So we have three three drops. So they could take a turn off and put three two counters on it. Just two counters on it. Oh, which is all they need. We're still gonna be able to get an attack off though if they do that. So they're in a pretty tough spot if that's their plan. They're going to take a lot of damage. All right, they're going for it, which is smart because really don't have much else going on. So then they trade with a, I guess it doesn't matter. Like I said, we don't have top end anymore, so I can always pitch planes to like a Mishra or some other rummage effect. Sure. So we have three drop, two two drops, and a one drop. So not super intimidated by Blast Zone. Great draw there. So let's let's play the Strong Bull first. All right, cool. So let's go to game three here. So we saw the self-assembler mine worker card draw value. Bitter Union was pretty good there. I wonder if we can fit another one in there. 
Thankfully, Deadly Repost does actually look good in this match. Race to the ground. So what would it have done in that game? Blow up an Aeronaut's Wings. A Harvester. I wonder if I just want another Bitter Reunion for more Flood Mitigation. Just because our curve is so low. We don't have a ton of use for extra lands. It's not bad. Especially raise the ground defensively. I I feel like, I mean, we out aggroed them there, so we can out aggro them. And Bitter Reunion is pretty good for out aggroing, so why don't we try it again? I do love to see Survivor of Corliss doing its job. Stopping X1s all day. So this one we can't keep them all. This one we can keep, and I thought I took that out for some reason, but it's the one that's going to go here, because we're going to need that Survivor of Corliss. I've, I've got a feeling. So yes, I could get Mineworker for free. Hmm, seems like they have the disenchant. Bitter Reunion is great draw here. We're gonna get in for three though and play Queen Kayla. Kinda don't mind pitching these two if I need to. No attacks, that's also a good sign. So, um, we don't have to do Queen Kayla yet either. We can do the Bitter Reunion first. So we already have all the white. So let's do, let's do Bitter Reunion, discard a Plains. more lands. Well, now Queen Kayla looks a lot better. So we'll do this and we'll attack with Mine Worker here. And pass. Juggernaut, sure. So we have Deadly Repost for that. Makes me not want to use Queen Kayla just yet either. But now I guess if I use Queen Kayla, I can get Rock Hunter for free as well as completely refill my hand. But I can also just play Rock Hunter and leave up Deadly Repost. So let's do that. Definitely a telegraph here, but that's all right. Guess I sh maybe should have played a land there. Sure. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, another one. Good. So we'll play that. Pitch a mountain, I guess, this time. Oh, that's nice. So. We'll actually get in for... I, I don't care about losing the survivor here. I'd rather deal five damage to him. Yeah. Nice. 
sure. All right. Got no cards left. I like that. Ooh. Do I have to? You may. Well, we're not going to. We're going to just play it as a... Play it as a mutt. Because I don't want to pitch my Unleashed Shell here. So, sure. Self-assembler. So we can get in for three. And I'll play the self-assembler. They already find both of them? I can't remember now. Oh, still the other one. Good. I like that. All right. Looks like we got there. Sweet. We'll see you for round three. All right, round three, play first. Great hand. I don't think we wait. Yeah, we definitely don't wait to play the mine worker uh, to get full value off welcome because we've got at least two follow-up turns of welcome anyway. All right, so we'll go mine worker here. Hmm. Easy trade if they offer it. All right, let's we're playing welcome now, and now it's kind of all gravy here. Play the maybe the strong bowl or elite if we draw land next. Both of which are good. There, they got their own elite. So we'll draw. Got the land, so we'll do our own elite. And it's mana value, so we'll draw a card here. Flyer. Flyer's actually pretty good uh, weakness for us. Big hit. There's a mutt, so we can do actually. Yeah, we can do mutt plus uh, scrap smith. But we want to play land here, so I don't really want to discard anything. Why don't we do scrap smith first? Also get to. Ooh, Avenger. Well, those are both pretty solid options. Uh, the Assembler is the only one we can cast, and we do have two things we can... But this, being able to get flying is really good. It's not like we're not staying busy anyway without it, so... Ooh, yeah, and I forgot we get to draw the card too, so we even get to cast it next turn. Do I want to pitch anything to this Mutt? Not especially now. We want to keep the life gain going with the uh, mine worker. So we'll get in for four, play a mutt, and then pass. That way we can chump the elite with the mutt too to protect ourselves, which I think is probably worth it. We're getting a lot of card advantage here. It's whenever it enters too. Jeez, that's really good. 
So I don't want to pitch any of these, to be honest. So they can unearth to get in with Elite, which is fine. Hmm. Yeah, I may have to actually triple block the Elite here. But... Is that... Yeah, because they're tapped out too and we're drawing more cards. I think it's worth it. We kind of, if you think about it, we're not losing that many cards from this transaction. We're losing Scrapsmith, which gave us an Avenger. We're losing Mutt, which can be unearthed, and Mineworker. So we're losing, I feel like we're losing like one and a half. It's really not that bad of a loss. Plus we're gaining life here too, which is nice. So I can actually do the Avenger next turn because Avenger here actually doesn't do as much as you'd like. Because if I do Avenger next turn, I can also give it... I can't do that right now. So I might just do the Strong Will first to see what we draw. Just a land, okay. So, play a land. Probably just get Mishra down. We miss out on a uh, card draw from Welcome, but we get a Rummager, and we have Welcome for the Mutt next turn, so it's probably worth it. So it's a 5-5 five, five that you can sack and do things with. Yeah, it's pretty good. So let's do the Avenger and hope they don't have removal for it. So another aggro deck. Might do the same plan we did in round two. Ditch the demolisher plan. Because if they have prison sentence here or whatever, we're not looking great. Sure. That makes sense. So blocks are going to be elite and strongbull on the amalgam. And then we'll block the front liner here. All right, still looking okay. Another flyer, sure, let's see what they get. So they can get a perimeter captain, or land. 
They have green in there, huh? huh. All right. Trawler's going to be immediate draw, so we can do that. We can also rummage off the mutt. Let's do the... Because I can actually get Mine Worker back too. Yeah, we want the Trowler down this turn. Mmm, there's our big dude. That's nice. So I can attack with Avenger here and just give it Vigilance. But then they can triple block. Let's see. So maybe I just attack with the Strongbow, but then they have... Oh, but we've got the, yeah, we've got the Deadly Repost, so we're, we're probably okay. I'm going to play land here, because if we get enough mana, we can do Demolisher plus Repost in a turn, which is pretty good. I guess I can do Avenger. We can go Flying plus Vigilance. And then at least I can get in for... Five here. And that way we can give Avenger Flying to block the cavalry, plus still have Deadly Repost to gain some life. That's a good sign. Hmm. So they can play that at end of turn, buff their flyers. They still don't quite have lethal if I can do this correctly here. So we can we can't play Demolisher. I guess I can play Demolisher if I ditch the Mine Worker. I can do Demolisher plus leave up Deadly Repost. Let's see, how much mana will that be? I ditch Mine Worker for one. I'm ramping one. So really I'll have nine mana. So I can do Demolisher and leave up Repost. But then I can't do Avenger. So ultimately I don't think that's what I want to do. Because we need to block cavalry. But they're going to have six flying. But we don't die. I mean, we can at least force some blocks here, I guess. Hmm. Let's do mine worker first. And draw. Does it come back to the battlefield or it's just returned to your hand? Oh, we have our own paratrooper. Well, that's good. Let's just get in with Get in with Strongbow, they block with Cavalry. I guess I don't have great sacks for that. So let's just wait this turn. They can do Paratrooper, we'll have Repost. So we won't die. Unless they have removal for Avenger and then we will die. I think. Well, we'll still have Paratrooper plus Repost, so maybe we don't die. So, I can, can I afford it to, then I can't smash back and kill them. So we probably have to give flying and death touch here. So 
so we can get so we don't have any more mine workers but if I play assembly I don't know guess I don't get to draw off of it but is it each on your under your control wow so I can even activate this on their turn it's pretty strong I can rummage but I'm kind of okay with all of this right now. Crown is good. So we've got nine mana now. So I can do assembler. Basically, I have to leave up repost. That's the most important part here so we don't die. So. I wonder if I want to do crown let's see I can do demolisher and leave up repost but is it better to get aggressive here like with strong bull because they're at seven start forcing them some blocks on the ground well I think they're gonna they're gonna commit to everything next turn and I block Hmm. Maybe we just do the Demolisher and pass for now. Because we also have the Mine Worker. I think if they commit to everything here, we're probably okay. So let's do the mine worker. Let's see if repost. Oh, it's target tapped creature, huh? Well, we can at least kill the cavalry, I guess. Because Vanguard's got... That's right. All right. I should have done repost first. I mean, I feel like we at least get a pretty good attack here. So we get the Mutt plus the Crown plus Equip. Well, I guess we can't do the Mutt plus the Crown plus Equip, can we? I can do Mutt. And we'll draw. And we can... Rummage and Assembler. Oh, and we get two more mana. Nice. So then I can go land, crown. Can I, they're going to have to block two on the Demolisher. So then we can at least do the crown on Mishra. Then I can sack three artifacts to Strongbull as well. I feel like there's a pretty good chance we get them here. They have to do some uncomfortable blocking, that's for sure. All right, cool. So another aggro deck. Deadly Repost still good, although there's a lot of... Oh, they do have Prison Sentence in there too. Gosh, Puric Blast is looking better. Hmm. Their Flyers are a problem. Deadly Repost, not as good as I need it to be here. 
Doesn't deal with the cavalries, doesn't deal with elite. Hmm. Doesn't deal with vigilance. Yeah. I don't know if uh, deadly repost is the answer here. Do I need to go for the aggro plan again and race the... I think I do. Sadly. I need to outrace them again. I mean, granted, we want Demolisher, but... Like, Crown is probably too slow. We'll ditch Demolishers. I think I'm going to keep the Avenger this time. I can do Escape. That looks pretty amazing against Prison Sentence and Static Net. Although, you have, I mean, you have to time it right, but... We can do Rock Hunter. That's actually... I guess that's not that great either. It's got reach, but it doesn't stop the X4s. Yeah. That's, uh... That's tough. Probably want Pyrrhic Blast. Oh, we already had one. It's clunky, but if they're doing Prison Sentence, it's, it's pretty good. Although we don't have that many 4-power guys either. Bit of Reunion was good last time. Maybe we'll just try that again. And I do kind of want to fit in the Rock Hunter, but... For Reach... I mean, Deadly repost, repost, like I said, not quite as good as we want it to be here. All right. Survivor of Corliss, is that okay? Yeah, they had plenty of X1s, although their X1s were flyers, so maybe slightly worse. All right, this is a keep. Good hand. Yeah, real good hand. All right. Survivor doing its thing. Sure. All right, so we'll play turn two. We'll hang out. Still going for the welcome plan, and then we'll, I don't know, probably jam an elite. Something like that. Hmm. Makes things a little trickier. We got that nice aggressive start. So now we do, I think we do Queen Kayla, because then I can cheat out my elite next turn. Although, then I have to ditch the welcome. Hmm. Maybe that was wrong. I can play an elite next turn. Maybe welcome was what I was supposed to do. This just prevents a little bit more damage, I think. Hmm. Seven. It's a lot. Can't double block the elite. I guess I can trade with Vanguard. I don't really want to, though. Beefy start there. So. We can do elite and leave up Lauren's escape. That's actually pretty good. Why don't we do that? So now it's just weird because... Queen Kayla, I didn't use it, but this is fine. This is the way we'll do it. So we can Lauren's escape and then trade with the elite. I'm kind of okay with that, but my other choice is to not protect Queen Kayla and then get like an elite off the board. I'm gonna protect Queen Kayla. Uh, yeah, we wanna leave that on top. So we can trade with 
elite I still don't even need to use Queen Kayla, that's the funny part. Take four. They have two cards left, we're still okay. They get that Aeronauts Wings, we're in trouble, but... So we'll do the Welcome, we'll play the Survivor. Because it's just... Free card draw, basically. Reunion's nice. Alright, we'll play the Land. And pass. Yeah, if they have Aeronauts Wings, we're, we're on a two-turn clock. Sure. Uh, maybe at this point, I'm, I think I'm willing to trade off Queen Kayla. That's totally fine. We c we can't afford to take too many hits anyway, so it's all right. All right, so now we can do Inspector Draw, Bitter Union, Pitch Mountain, but this just gives us better options right away. All right, now we'll play the Bitter Union and Pitch Mountain. And draw that. So then we'll play land, and then we can play another bitter reunion, discarding another land. So we'll hang out. So it's a big problem. It's gonna be a quick clock for us, so... I guess I was kinda hoping we'd draw some sexier things there, but... Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but it's just really slow. Really slow. I mean, yeah, we're still... Unfortunately... On the clock here that we're not going to be able to keep up with. Right, and they had the Aeronauts Wings, so we didn't have a chance. This is a tough one. This is a tough match. It's been two matches of Aeronauts Wings causing us problems, so... I'm basically... I feel like I need to out-aggro them. Which, I guess, given how these games have gone, is easier said than done. So another Rock Hunter... Threes don't really match well with their stuff, though. That's the that's the real issue here. Like, I don't even like repost here. It doesn't stop the... I mean, it stops van... It stops maybe enough of their deck where I need it, but... Man, I don't really like it. Hmm. We just look slow. Somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but we look slow. Shockingly slow. Guess I'm ditching Pyrrhic Blast, even though it's excellent against Prison Sentence. I guess... I, I, what is the other thing I'm supposed to ditch here? Kind of at a loss. I really don't know. I guess the Rock Hunter. Even though I just brought it in, I, I can't make space for it. And I kind of need the Avenger for flying blocks. Alright. Unfortunate Maul. Gonna have to dip to five. That's sad. Alright. Well, not feeling good about this game, but... Came down to... The cards on that one. I mean, it's not over, but it's not looking great. So I'll probably ditch, I guess, a bitter reunion. Is Queen Kayla even something I want now? Probably not, huh? 
I'm going to have no cards left in my hand when I have her out, so... I guess I'm going to ditch her, too. Like, I, I play out my hand and then I play a Queen Kayla. What good does that do me? Well, at least we get possible turn 3 elite. Turn 4 elite's not bad either. I'm willing to trade one of my mine workers for their officer. Yeah. Ooh. I'm glad they don't get that uh, Vanguard because that card's excellent. Yeah, even though you don't want to do it. Alright, so now we can at least slam an elite. Too bad. Hmm. Quite a ways away from that. Plus, now we can't get anything off self assembler. That's too bad. Cavalries are going to get us. It's my fear. Nice find. Yeah, I think the Mulda Five is ultimately gonna we're gonna succumb to the Mulda Five. Which is disappointing to say the least. Real disappointed with that. I mean, I've got five cards. I started with five cards. This is just going to be real tough to overcome. We're, I mean, we're not even doing that terrible considering the amount we have to overcome here, but this is going to be tough. So, yeah, I guess repost is still technically good. We don't want to search with self-assembler in any way, so that's fine. We need to kill the, uh, let's see, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So 
they can pump twice if they have a land. That's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one to beat. They actually didn't play the paratrooper there, which is interesting. So they can play paratrooper, which is why they want me to block the assembler on the elite. It's just sad. Just getting beat up. One of those games where you feel like you didn't have a chance from the beginning. Like we got all the way to game three for me to multi five and have like a just a super disappointing, <laughs> super super disappointing last game here. Yeah, because I mean they've got ten mana. They're clearly easily easily winning this race. All right, I got, I got a top deck gold for the rest of the game, and even then I still can't beat all the plays they have. So even if I top deck gold for the rest of this game, it's it's over. Yeah. Bummer. That's a real bummer. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. So I'm going to have to be basically forced to jump here in order to not die. Let's see, are we still dead? I don't even know. Two, four, seven, eleven. We're probably still dead. See, yeah, exactsies too. Wow. Oh wait, we got one turn left. One turn for me to draw this land off the top. Good one. Oh, Casey is welcome. There's a good one. All right, ended up going two one. Pretty disappointed, but nothing to be done. They were clear malls. Can't keep the one landers on the play. Even on the draw, too dangerous against a hyper aggro deck. I think the plan we had was fine. Clearly it was. We mulled into it and then won. But, um... Oh, I got some alchemy packs too. Alright, pack one, pick one here. I would take the... Ooh, jeez. A lot of good options here. Love the spider, but it's two color. Fate from History is pretty good. I don't know if it would have protected us that game. Warlord's Elite is very good. Thresher's very good. Jeez, good options here. There's some matches where this doesn't do much. This is probably slightly better sideboard card. Still certainly main deckable, but I guess if you first pick this, you can kind of build around it and not take, not play uh, as many artifacts and enchantments. Maybe that's worth it then. Combat Thresher, on the other hand, is just very good. Prototype, you get to draw a card. It's got double strike. All right. Yeah, this card's great, and I haven't gotten to play with it yet. The Soldier deck is just... It feels like it's maybe the best archetype in the format. The Soldier cards are just so strong. But Sky Strike Officer is a easy easy pickup here. Flies, make Soldiers. Really good. All right. 
Black Blade Reforge, two mana. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. Wow. Kind of equips expensive costs, but good on legendaries. But I'd probably end up taking the services command, which is great. Yeah, it makes the construct token. You can yeah, the options on this are awesome. Especially the power stone plus the construct artifact is really nice because it buffs it too. Really good card. I've gotten to play that one other time. I don't think we'll open the alchemy packs just because I'm not really playing or drafting that. Uh spider, prison sentence. Probably the prison sentence, it's it's monocolor. I do love the spider, but and this figure is good too, but I'd take the prison sentence. I've played this once one other time. The Flesh Mechanist is a great card. You can you know, make an army. It's got Death Touch too. It's a one drop. A lot of abilities on it that are really relevant. I like it a lot. All right, I'd take that over Might, which is also a good card, I think. Arcane Proxy, seven mana, four, three. It's got Prototype. When it enters, if you cast it, Exile and Instant Sorcery. Less than its power, copy it. Cast that copy without paying its mana cost. Awesome. Well, easily take that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, probably self-assembler, especially if you start it off, easy to find an assembly worker or two and get some extra value out of this. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.